What's up squidgy slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers and welcome back to the Tradman YouTube channel. We're in the workshop again today and today we're actually going to be talking about cutting squeegee rubber. Now a lot of time you can get issues with arcs being left behind on the windows, lovely soapy lines left behind. Quite often it's due to the rubber not being cut correctly so stay tuned today and find out how to cut this perfectly. So yes indeed folks, a lot of the time when we're cutting squeegee rubber, if it's not cut nice and square at the ends, if you've maybe cut it at a funny kind of angle or left any bits hanging off, when you go to squeegee the window, it leaves behind those horrible soapy arcs and your customers are not going to really appreciate that either. So today we're going to be using this tool here. Now there's many different versions of this tool online, but this is one I got from a window cleaning supplier here in the UK. I'll leave a link in the description below to this rubber cutter. Okay then folks, as you can see, we've got a few tools here to do. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna do the one squeegee channel. Now all you're gonna need is a pair of these. Other things that you may need is a cloth that just helps to grab the squeegee rubber and pull it through the channel. Especially with these channels, they're quite a tight fit, so I recommend using a cloth to pull that rubber through. And also something to create a better glide along the channel when you're pulling your squeegee rubber through is perhaps a saturated washer with a bit of soap in it. And all we're gonna do with that um, in a minute is basically make the squeegee rubber a bit wet. Just helps the rubber glide down the channel a bit easier. Or you can use obviously a bucket of water with some soap in it as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've taken the rubber out of my 16 inch squeegee channel and I'm gonna be cutting it down to 14 inches. So simply all you do is take your 14 inch channel, lay it in the middle of your 16 inch squeegee rubber that you have just taken out, okay? So as you can see, it's pretty much bang in the middle and we're gonna basically cut a chunk off of there and a chunk off of there and slide it back into the 14 inch channel. So I've already marked it, but just at the end of your squeegee rubber here, draw a little line, okay? And then at the other side, draw another line Take your 14 inch channel away. Now you know exactly where you're gonna be cutting the rubber off. So take your squeegee rubber cutters. And normally what I do is put the bulb of the rubber, so hopefully you can see that, the round edge, put that in the, the back of the squeegee cutter. Okay, so like so, hopefully you can see that there. All right, now with these squeegee rubber cutters, you do have to squeeze quite firmly to get that clean cut. We'll just bring that up into the light for you so hopefully you can see a nice clean edge there. It actually looks like it was manufactured. That, that's how clean a cut it gives. So sometimes when you're cutting with a window cleaning razor, it doesn't always cut through very nicely or if you're using a pair of scissors, that's even worse. So I'd highly recommend getting something like this. It's very effective, especially when you're on the go. You want to get that squeegee rubber cut quickly and get back on with the job. So again, we've got our line there. Just pop it in, give it a squeeze, one hand, and then pull the uh, excess off. Now we've got our 14 inch bit of rubber down from 16. Now to get it into our channel, it's quite tight. So we're gonna dampen the rubber down with a bit of soapy water and hopefully that will glide into the channel nice and easily. Okay, so taking our freshly cut bit of rubber, just lay it on your applicator like so, or put it in a, obviously a bucket of soapy water, just anything to try and get that a bit damp. You don't want it bone dry because it's really hard to get into the channel when rubber is bone dry. So there we go. You can see the uh, rubber is nice and soapy and wet, so there we go. Now an extra little tip for you guys is if you take your channel, especially the liquidators, and get some dish soap, it can be any kind you want, it's just to create a bit less friction along the channel. So you pop a little bit just in the end there. If it's gonna come out, whoop, too much. <laughs> That's gonna slide very easily now. Okay, so take your squeegee rubber and basically all you do is pop it in the end there. Now before you pull it along, this is where your cloth comes in handy. You just get a better grip on the squeegee rubber if you use a cloth. So just grabbing the end of your squeegee rubber like so and then pull it up the channel and it glides nicely. There's no squeaking, no trying to basically tug the thing through and getting, getting really frustrated with it because it won't move. So a bit of water, soapy water and dish soap to get that to glide through nicely. Now there's quite a lot of soap on that end and hardly on any on that end. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is put these Unger clips in as well, just to hold the rubber that bit tighter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of soap from the end there and just put it on that end. So both ends are all soapy, ready for the Unger green clips to go in. And they should just glide in like so. There we are, it's easy as that. Now, when people have issues getting the Unger green clips in, most likely the rubber is dry and you've not got any soap on it as well. So make sure that rubber is well lubricated and uh, you've got your soap solution on there. You can take the next Unger clip and just pop that one in. Okay, so the next thing I would recommend you guys check when you've just changed your rubber, I'll just dry off this soap now. Okay, is have a look at the end clips on here, okay? It should be, the rubber should be flush with the blue end clip there. So nothing hanging out over the end, not too short, not too long, has to be flush with the end clip. A lot of people get problems with lines on the windows. Um, it's usually because they've got loads of rubber hanging out or this is too short. So hopefully you can see that there, that it's a nice flush edge with the blue clip. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So you've got your Unger green clips in there, nice fresh bit of rubber and the manufacturer's stamp, hopefully maybe you can see that on camera. But for me, that's side number one, and then the blank side is number two. So get two sides out of a bit of rubber before you then chop it down. So there you have it, folks, the squeegee rubber cutter. Again, we'll leave a link in the description below for you. Nice little handy tool to have around in your tool belt or in the car or the van. And uh, yeah, great for cutting on the go. Just another little tip for you guys, if you've got excess rubber, one of these is quite handy, it's a rubber tidy box. We'll leave a link in the description below for one of these as well. If you perhaps change the rubber in one of your squeegees, but the next size down doesn't quite need squeegee rubber changed just yet, you can keep it in something like this until you do need to change it. So as you can see, there's a few rubbers in there that's uh, accumulated over time. And I just keep my brand new rubbers in the uh, box that it came in as well and then just put the lid over and keep it in the van until I need it. So that's all the tools, nice and uh, changed, ready for Monday. So hopefully that video has been of some use to you. So there we are folks, the squeegee rubber cutter, nice little tool to keep with you. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Thank you ever so much for tuning in, been much appreciated. And until next time, you take care, be good, and bye for now.